Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Ghost and Tegany doing a Suship deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an amazing deck to play that have included all sorts of spicy tech cards in this build for you guys, even including an adventure package in this deck. This deck is super fun to be able to play and just amazing with all the cards we have in this build. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Again, your name is Christian every single video, getting a signed cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Shari. Shari is a definite three of in the deck. This card is an awesome normal monster that you're always going to want to use to be able to make one of your Gunkin Su ship boss monsters. This card is amazing for egg Z plays and just really cool because it has 2,000 attack points for a vanilla monster. We then play three copies of Shari Red. Shari Red is a really unique card and a definite three of in this deck because this card is a awesome fact that this card's name becomes Gunkin Suship Shari while in your hand, deck, or graveyard, or on your field. But it doesn't count as Shari all the time, which is super interesting about this card. So you can actually play all six of these cards in the deck at the same time, making it a really awesome card in the deck. This card is just definitely a three of in the build. We then play three copies of Uni. Uni is really good in the deck because it helps us make our copy of our Uni ship. And this card is amazing in the deck because you can reveal one other Gungan card in your hand and then special summon this card from your hand. Then apply the effect based on the card that you revealed in your hand. If you revealed Shari, you can special summon the revealed monster, which is going to be your copy of Shari. And if you revealed anything else, you place the revealed card on the bottom of your deck. You can also target a Gungan monster that you control and change its level to four or five. Then add a Gungan shoe ship Shari from your deck to your hand, which is a really good effect to be able to use it. This card can search out your copy of Shari and level manipulate your cards to be level five so you can make your awesome Uni ship. We then play three copies of Ikara. Ikara is definitely a three of in the deck, and this card helps you make a Z plays like crazy, that if you control a copy of Shari, you can special summon this card from your hand. It also has the ability that during your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. If you do, either add your hand or special summon one excavated Shari, also shovel the rest back into your deck, which is great because we basically play six copies of Shari in the deck, so it's gonna be really easy to be able to hit one of those off the excavation. We then play three copies of Sakitama. Sakitama is just a really awesome extender in the deck that can actually normal summon itself out to your side of the field because it has the ability that you can reveal this card in your hand and immediately as effect resolves, you normal summon a spirit monster from your hand, getting you a really easy level four monster on your field so you can keep making your XZ plays. We then play just two copies of Water Enchantress. Water Enchantress is fine at two in this deck because this card just helps you get to your copies of your Ride of Aramiser so you can start going into your adventure package. We then play a single copy of Wandering Griffin Rider. This card is insane because it is a walking negate in the deck and it helps out a lot in this deck to be able to put this card on your side of the field. We then play two copies of Gamma Seal. Gamma Seal is great because it's very easy to OTK in the deck and this card just outs your opponent's boss monsters by giving them this turtle, which is just really good. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's amazing right now. I just stopped your opponent from touching the deck so it's a definite three of in the deck and then we play three copies of droll knockbird to round out the monsters droll is really good right now and just basically stopping your opponent from searching for the rest of the turn and makes it so your opponent can't make absolutely insane boards they can make good boards but they can't make crazy boards so this card is really good in the deck right now especially for this deck that's trying to otk the opponent on the follow-up turn so that's it for the monsters guys Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. Harpy's Feather Duster is a definite one of in the deck just to deal with your opponent's back row. We then play a single copy of Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing is really good in this deck. This card helps out so much at OTKing your opponent because by just putting two level fours on your side of the field, you can actually make Utopia double, then detach your material from it, search out this card, and put a copy of Utopia on top of it. The copy of Utopia comes out at 5,000 attack points, then you can attack into 
an opponent's monster, negate the attack with your copy of Utopia's effect, then drop double or nothing to attack again for 10,000 attack points, making it super easy to OTK your opponent if your opponent has a monster in attack position that has 2,000 or less attack points and they're at 8,000, which is absolutely crazy how many games you can actually take by just your opponent leaving a monster in attack position that has 2,000 or less attack points and you easily getting two monsters on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Fateful Adventure. Fateful Adventure is a great one of in the deck that you're always going to put on your side of the field with Rite of Aramiser. And this card is great because it actually helps you get to your copy of Draco back and it also helps you get to your copy of Griffin Rider which is really good. We then play a single copy of Draco back. Draco back's great because it is a bounce and this card is really good as a one of in the deck. We then play two copies of Rite of Aramiser. Two is really fine in this deck. It's really good to be able to use in this particular build, and it's just a really awesome card. And if you control no adventure token, you can actually special summon out an adventure token to your side of the field. It's a Fairy Earth level four, 2000 attack, 2000 defense. Then if you do not control a Faithful Adventure, you can actually place Faithful Adventure from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone, but you cannot activate the effects of monsters on the field the turn you activate this effect, except special summon monsters which is totally fine because all of our sous ship cards special summon themselves out to your side of the field except your copy of shari which is a vanilla monster which is totally fine for this deck and we're always trying to xz summon into our cards so that's totally fine about this build we then play three copies of painful decision painful decision is really good and i've chosen to play painful decision over unexpected die in the deck because there's a lot of cards that actually want you to have shari in your hand so this card is really good to work with your copy of uni because if you have uni and a copy of painful decision it's very easy to reveal the copy of shari in your hand to get uni and shari on your side of the field and this card is great because it helps you get one of your copies of your shari out of your deck which is really good to be able to do and it's super helpful in this particular build i'm really liking this card over unexpected die and it's really good in this build we then play three copies of gunkin sue ship catch of the day this card is a crazy powerful card this card is the newest support card that we actually got for the deck and this card is just insane it's super good and really helpful it has the ability that once per turn you can reveal a gunkin sue ship shari in your hand and place one counter on this card and if you do reveal a gunkin xz monster in your x check and if you do your opponent declares one gunkin monster of card name except a copy of shari that is mentioned on any gunkin xz monster then you can add the declared card from your deck to your hand which is really good to be able to just search out your cards that you need and if you cannot add that card shovel this card in the deck and if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card your opponent pays exactly 500 points for each counter this card had on the field which is crazy that it can actually do burn damage against your opponent as well this card is great as a searcher in the deck and just really cool for this build so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're just going to be playing three, and that's going to be three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is really good in this deck. You can actually stop your opponent's monster backs or set this card to your side of the field to lock down entire columns of spells and traps. This card is really good as a three of in the build. It was just a super helpful card in this deck. So that's going to do it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with two copies of Gunkin Suship Ikara Class Dreadnought. This card is a really good boss monster that makes it super easy to OTK your opponent. It does require just any two level four monsters, but depending on the materials you actually put into this card, depends on the effects that you get. Now, if this card is XZ summoned, you can apply these effects in sequence based on the materials that you put into this card. If you use Shari, you get to draw a card. And if you use a copy of Ikra, this card can make it a second attack during each battle phase, making it super easy to OTK your opponent because this card is 2200 
attack points. And once per turn, while your Gunkin Monster is special summoned from the extract and inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it, which is great that this card can attack twice and it can pop a card on the field and let you draw a card. We then play two copies of the Uni Class Super Dreadnought. This card is a great boss monster for the deck and shares a similar effect to your copy of your Ikura Class because depending on the materials that you actually use to make this card depends on the effects that it gets. If you use Shari, you get to draw a card. And if you use Uni, this card gains the ability to attack directly, making it really easy to actually make Zeus with this card. And it comes out at 2,900 attack points, which is really good. And once per turn during your main phase, or your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can target face a card your opponent controls up to the number of Gunkin monsters you control and special summon from the extract negate their effects, which is really good that this card is a walking negate as well. We then play a single copy of Tornado Dragon as you can pop spells and traps on the field. Play a single copy of Baguska. Baguska is just really good because you can put this card on the field if you do get forced to go first. And it's just really good in the deck to be able to make this card and wait it out to be able to OTK your opponent on the follow-up turn. We then play a single copy of Digusto Emerald. Digusto Emerald is really good because it helps you shuffle your cards back into the deck, which is really good. But it also helps you by targeting a non-effect monster in your graveyard and special summoning it, making it super easy to actually make your copy of Utopic Future and then Draco Future. We can play a single copy of number 60. Number 60 is great because it can double the attack of a monster, making it super easy to OTK your opponent, especially if you double the attack of something like your copy of Uni, which will go up by 2,900 and can attack directly, which is just insane how much damage you'll actually do with that card. It'll do 5,900 damage on one attack, which is just crazy powerful. We then play a single copy of Utopia Double. Utopia Double is really good because you can detach them from this card, search a copy of Double or Nothing, make a copy of Utopia on top of this card, it comes out at 5,000 attack points. You can then attack your opponent, negate the attack with Utopia's effect, and then once you do, you'll go up to 10,000 by dropping your copy of your Double or Nothing to OTK your opponent. We then play a single copy of Utopia. Utopia is really good because you make this card with with your copy of Utopia Double, play a single copy of S39, Utopia the Lightning. This card is great just in case you draw into your copy of Double or Nothing. You still have a good option to make a 5,000 attack point monster. So it's just a really good option. We play a single copy of Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. This card works extremely well because you can actually make a four material Zeus with your copy of your Uni Class Dreadnought, which is really cool because you can actually overlay this card on top of this giving you a four material Zeus during the main phase too, essentially being like a downer magician, which is kind of neat. We then play a single copy of F-Zero. F-Zero is really good because it's super easy to put this card on your side of the field. You can use your copies of your Sioux ships to make this card or any monster that's not a number to be able to make this card and then follow up with a copy of Draco Future, which is a great first turn play because this card is a walking negate. We then play a single copy of Double A Zeus. So this card is just great at destroying the whole board and it's a great monster to be able to put on your side of the field. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy this deck. It's super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Sue Ship before, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's a really fun deck to be able to play. It's an awesome OTK deck, and it's just really an awesome deck overall. It's very budget to be able to pick up the deck because pretty much everything was printed as common or super, which just makes this deck a really good option. So, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.